So Matt, a brilliant result on Saturday. What's the mood like being in camp? Pretty positive. Um, they had their social after the game. Um, nothing better than a social after a win and a performance like that. Um, we got to work on Tuesday. Um, took a little while to get going as it always does after a couple of days off. Um, and some good prep work today. Um, I think probably across the board, um, every club in the land have got injuries and issues um, and we might have um, come into a little bit of illness in the camp this week. Um, so we're monitoring that, we're hoping it won't affect the, the playing squad this weekend, but certainly staff-wise a few have been hit. On to Blackpool now, another team towards the top of the table. What do you think we can expect from them on Saturday? Team towards the top of the table, um, good team, well coached. Um, a lot of players who've played higher and had, had success getting out of this league, so one of the stronger teams in the division. And I think there are only two players who've played in their last league game started on Tuesday night. So it probably shows the strength of their, their squad. Um, another tough test, another good game of football. Um, we went to Bolton last week, which is a, a really good place to play football. Fantastic stadium. And Blackpool's no different. Um, it's always the same, certainly this time of year. It's probably a bit cold and a little bit windy. Um, but the, the Christmas weekend in Blackpool is something to look forward to. Do you think we can expect to see the same system that we saw at Bolton? It depends. I think I said after the crew game, um, depends on having the personnel available to play that system um, and that shape. Um, and obviously, we've lost a couple in the fullback, wingback area, and with the illness we've got at the moment, we might be struggling as well. So we've just got to play it as we see it as we get close to the game. Um, I think we're flexible enough now to understand. We probably played a back four for the majority of the season. Um, we've only flipped to a back three the last two games. So I think there's flexibility within the, the two shapes. Um, whoever we have available, um, we've got to fit a, a, put a shape out there which best suits them. Is there any injury news aside from the illnesses? No, not, not as such. Um, the longer term ones are still no closer, certainly not in terms of affecting the, the, the Christmas fixtures. Um, so I, I don't expect that to change too much. Um, Jack Hunt is going to have another scan today. Um, his initial scan results were, were clear and really positive in terms of progressing back onto on-pitch rehab, um, but he's still got a little bit of discomfort there. So the right thing to do is just to take him out of that and, and to scan him, scan him again. And we'll get the results in the next 24, 48 hours. Um, uh, Gibbo seems to be more mobile with his back. Um, he's done a little bit of training for the first time today, so we'll see how he reacts tomorrow. Um, so as, as always, you pick up bits and pieces as the week goes on. Um, but there was nothing major from Saturday, which is a real plus. On to yourself now. You've been here for three weeks. How have you found it? It's been three weeks. Um, well, was just, um, chaos, um, as it always is the first two weeks of management life. Um, it's not just chaos in terms of coming into the, the middle of a season and, and fixtures. Um, it's chaos in terms of your home life and your personal life and trying to make sure your, your family's settled, let alone when you've got a, a, a little, little lad who's 15 months and the wife's nearly, nearly due, ready to pop. So um, it's been chaotic and been challenging. I've enjoyed it, I've enjoyed the people. Um, the players, first and foremost, um, seem to be quite receptive to, not new ideas, just, just the messages we're giving them. The staff at the training ground have been, been excellent. And then everyone associated with the stadium and the football club and the wider community have, have been really welcoming. So I've enjoyed it. You probably enjoy it more when you pick up a couple of good results. So certainly the, the scoreline at, at Crew and getting those goals on the board and then the, the big three points at Bolton the weekend um, make you always feel better about yourself um, as a football manager, anyone involved in, in football. But I've really enjoyed it. And hopefully this is just a short taste of what's to come in the future.